WBBM FM, Chicago. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good. It's refreshing. And the good easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, <laughs> last week of Pasquale has did a terrible thing. He's put his fat daughter Rossi in my night school class just so she should be near to me. Mamma mia, if every American school was overcrowded before, with the Rosa, they're going to bust. <laughs> <laughs> so you should see her in a school. 250 pounds sitting on a little seat. It's like a Queen Mary trying to squeeze into the bathtub. <laughs> But what I'm not going to stand is the way Pasquale is teasing me. This morning, he's made up one of his Pasquale poems, which he's a slip under my door. It's a say, roses are red, the violets are blue, make me a grandpa, and I'm a thank you. <laughs> so right away, I'm going to send him back a Pasquale poem. You should be a grandpa, anything it could be, but don't expect any help from me. <laughs> Well, that's the way it's a go between us, Mamma Mia. I'm a thought I had a trouble before when, when a Pasquale once made me take Rosa to the dance. Well, she's a step on my toe. I'm a had to throw away the shoe. <laughs> I'm a lucky she didn't step a little hard. I would have had to throw away the foot. <laughs> Still, I'm, I'm a didn't mind taking her to the dance or to a movie once in a while. But when a Pasquale got this big idea to put her in my night school class, like they say in America, I knew I was up at the creek. <laughs> the worst part of all this is I'm, 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 I couldn't study all the week because I was worried so much. Oh, wait, wait, here comes the Pasquale now. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi, hello, hello. What's the matter? The cat's got your tongue, a little banana nose? The rat shouldn't have talked about the cat. <laughs> I got the biggest the brainstorm of my life when I put a rose in your night school class. This year, they should award me with the Putzler Prize for smartness. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pasquale, now I wouldn't marry Rosa even if she lost 150 pounds and won a beauty contest and I had the million dollars. Luigi, if all of that had happened, you'd be killed in the rush between Errol Flynn and the Alley Cab. <laughs> Come on, Luigi, don't take it so hard about Rosa being in your class. That's an catastrophe. Who knows? You're from partners in a school, you two might develop in a life for partners. That's quite a, whoever marries Rosa ain't got a partner, he's got a corporation. <laughs> you got to get some marriage anyway. The most respectable people to do it. I read once where even a Lincoln has said, in a union, there's a strength. The way your daughter eats, I never could afford the, do the union dues. <laughs> please, please, Pasquale, I'm, I'm going to want to, I'm going to want to talk to you. I'm, I'm so mad. You had no right to put the Rossi in my night school no class. No right. To listen, that's a free country with a free education for free people. Then why don't you let me stay free? Who's to stop it? You. I certainly am. <laughs> Luigi, when I imported you from Italy, I didn't bring you here just to sit around with me in a play canazza. <laughs> I brought you here for my daughter. Strictly business. Yeah, but, but you didn't tell me that. Sure not. Listen, when the butcher invites the turkey to come to the chopping block, he don't print the invitation on the axe. 
Now, uh, what's, what's the use of the talking to you? I can see you worried because my plan is a work. And just to wait a few months to see in Arosa, and I can see you coming up to me and saying, if you don't mind, sir, I'd like to marry your daughter and to become a Mr. Pasquale. Mr. Pasquale? That I'm never going to be. Goodbye. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Where you go? I'm going to see my friend Schultz. Schultz? So what for? You think that salami slices are going to give you big advice on how to outsmart me? Pasquale, you started something. And I'm going to finish. Sure, and the finishes are going to be you and Rosa walking down that middle aisle. Impossible, Pasquale. Rosa's got too much middle for one aisle. Sure. <laughs> Oh, hello, hello, Schultz. Uh, it's good to see you. No, Luigi, my fellow fool. No, t- tell me, what, what was that private talk you came here about? Hmm? Schultz is, is about Rosa. Uh-huh, I thought so. She's bothering you being in class every night. That, that's all I'm going to think about, it, Schultz. I, I can't study. We, we got to figure out some way to, to get Rosa out of our class. Oh, that, that's easy, Luigi. We hold our class in the steam room of the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> now, Schultz, don't you, Joker, please. This is a very important to yeah, me. Yeah, I know, I know, Luigi. Himmel, you know, you've got to give that Pasquale credit. He had a real stroke of genius. The molehill didn't come to the mountain, so he sent the mountain to the molehill. <laughs> <laughs> and from that mountain, someday he hopes to see little molehills. <laughs> ah, smile, Luigi. That was very clever, you know. <laughs> Schultz. Yeah, I know. Rosa, Rosa. Aha! What? Luigi, Pasquale declared war on you. So you got a perfect right to declare guerrilla warfare on Rosa. Get it? Schultz, what's this? All out attack. <laughs> Dip her hair in the inkwell. Uh, use jet propelled spitballs. Uh, <laughs> drop thumbtacks on her chair. Come, Jacks, on her chair? Oh, what a horrible death for a thumbtack. <laughs> <laughs> You could try these things, Luigi. No, 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 Schultz. If I did all those things, the Russians are going to think I'm playing the games with her. Then the Pasquales are going to think I'm ready to play the big game with her. What big game? Ring around the Russia with a real ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you got to do just the opposite with Rosa. Ignore her. You mean? You mean, mean I, I shouldn't even talk to her? Huh? Not a word. When she says something to you, just give her a cold look. And turn away the head. No, no, Schultz. I, I'm, I'm going to do this to her. Yeah, I know. Luigi, inside, you got a heart that's softer than my chopped liver. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Luigi. I gave you enough ideas to think a battleship, but Rosa is a bigger problem. Yeah, but, uh, hey, Schultz, uh, maybe if I was to be absent from a school, like, like if I was to suddenly get the sick. Oh, sure. Luigi, go out right now and get yourself a case of mumps. You think this would work? <laughs> no, I guess it wouldn't work. Once the truant officer says, open the mouth and the marbles drop out, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wait, wait, Luigi, wait. Into my head, an idea just pooped. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what should she Go, go to the Miss Baldy. The teacher? Now, sure, tell her everything. After all, she's a friend of ours. Yeah. Tell her how the whole thing is making a nervous wreck out of you. Uh-huh. And would she oblige you by transferring Rosa to a different class? Yeah, put... Put it in another class. Huh? That's yeah. it. Hey, sure, so Miss Balding is going to do that for me. Sure. Yeah, sure, I know that. Now, don't forget. the Miss Balding before yeah. the class starts tonight. And talk to her. And cheer up, Luigi. Cheer up. Be like me. Always happy. Always laughing. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> Mr. Basco, your request is impossible. I see no reason why Rosa should be transferred out of this class. But, Miss Spalding, Pasquale is just to put her in out of class, so, so I'm, I'm sure to get her used to her and, and marry her. I don't think Mr. Pasquale would do such a thing. I mean, nobody's going to believe me till I'm going to have six kids with Rosa. Miss <laughs> Spalding, please, maybe you can tell Rosa her brain looks tired and she should send it to Florida for a vacation. Are you suggesting that I tell her to stop school? Yes. Mr. Basco, as a teacher, it is my duty to encourage learning, not to discourage. Yes, but you may consider the subject closed. Rosa sticks. Then I'm stuck. 
And get this clear. As long as her work remains good, Rosa will stay in our class. But, Miss Spartan, you, you, you never call on her in a class. I'm just giving her a chance to catch up to us in her work. We'll find out soon enough how much she knows when I give the final test next week. The final test? Sure, and, 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 and the what if Rosa is, is going to fail in that test? Then she won't be in our class next term. Mamma mia, I'm, I'm saved. Rosie to take after Pasquale. Pasquale still thinks that Columbus he discovered Ohio. Now I'm, I'm got to nothing to worry about him, Miss Spartan. Because Rosie is sure going to fail at the test. All right, Mr. Basco. The class is here. You may take your seat. Sure, sure. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? I'm here. Mr. Horowitz? Yeah. Mr. Olson? Yeah. Rosa? <laughs> <laughs> Please, uh, just say here. Here. <laughs> Please. Mr. Schultz? <laughs> Mr. Schultz. Uh, just call me laughing boy. Keeper. <laughs> yes, Rosa? Oh, I see you brought an apple to class. Yes. Well, thank you. Oh, it's not for you. It's for Luigi. Hmm. After class, Rosa, not now. All right, class, uh, let's begin our grammar review. Mr. Basco, you may tell us the four forms of sentences. The four forms of sentences. Miss Balding, is Luigi wonderful? Rosa, please. <laughs> <laughs> the four forms of sentences are the declarative sentence, uh, uh, the, the, I'm, I'm a forgot. Uh, Mr. Basco, it's easy to see your mind isn't on your work. Mr. Horowitz, go on. With pleasure. There's the interrogative sentence, the imperative sentence. Under life, then. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz. So don't beg me, Miss Balding. Appeal to the governor. <laughs> Please. Now, who will tell us the fourth form of sentence? Nobody knows? Oh, oh Miss Balding, you must be your joking. <laughs> you, you know that I could recite every page in the grammar book. Correct to the last punctuation mark. Olsen, I live for the day when you're going to slip on a comma and fracture your semicolon. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, let me remind you, our final examination is less than a week away. Anybody who fails to pass will not be in this class next term. Tabasco, what are you whispering to Mr. Harlow? I mean, what I was... Miss Pauling, he just said it isn't fair. You're calling on everybody today except Rosa. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe she's going to need to practice, and uh, otherwise she might fail. <laughs> Very well. Uh, Rosa, tell us the fourth form of sentence. The fourth form? Yes. Luigi, I think this is going to do it. <laughs> Let's see. Declarative, imperative, interrogative, and exclamatory sentence. Good. Huh? Rosa, now that we know the four forms of sentences, could you tell us the three kinds of sentences? Oh, simple, complex, and compound. Perfect. Huh? Him, look at her. <laughs> Olsen with makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa, darling, how did you do it? Oh, it's easy. I got a system for study. You got a, a, a system? Uh, teach me the system, Rosa, and we got to clean out Santa Anita in two days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, class, enough of that. <clears throat> Rosa, that was very good. <laughs> Mr. Olson, I'm not worried about you in the examination. Hey, don't worry about me, Miss Folding. I'm studying. Slow but steady. And I'm studying. Quick but sloppy. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, frankly, you're the only one I'm worried about. Judging from your work the last few days, I don't think you'll be with us next term. That's terrible. Instead of Rosa being dropped from the class, it's going to be Luigi. No, 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 don't say that. Have a good reset. Mr. Basco, where are you going? Home at the study. Luigi, can I go with you? No, you're the one who's making all of the trouble. <laughs> Miss Balding. Yes, Rosa. You can have the apple. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that will help carry you through a busy, strenuous day feeling more relaxed and satisfied. 
From time to time, especially when you're tense or under pressure, chew a stick of Wrigley Spearmint Gum. You see, the good easy chewing goes right along with what you're doing. It helps relieve that feeling of strain and tension so that work goes smoother and time passes more pleasantly. Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum tastes good, too. It freshens your mouth, sweetens your breath, and gives you long-lasting enjoyment and satisfaction. So when you've got a job to do and you've got to keep going at your best, chew refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Millions find it helpful, and you will, too. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, mamma mia, with a rush in the class, I'm, I'm got so worried I didn't study. It looks like I'm going to be the only one to fail in the big finals and test. And, and then when I fail in the test, I'm, I'm going to lose all of my friends the next term. I'm going to sit up until five o'clock this morning trying to push a lot of education into my head. Then a rush is come into my head, and she's a push her back and a go by education. <laughs> so now I'm sitting here with my head in the books, when in is a walker, he you know who. <laughs> well, well, well. How's my little girl's a school chump? Studying hard, Mr. Einstein? <laughs> Pasquale, why, why did you put a rush into my class? Why, why, why? Why, why, why? I've got to tell you, when a hunter wants to catch a little squirrel, he puts his a trap where the squirrel is, and I put a big one there, that's all. <laughs> hey, you're so right, Pasquale. You got the biggest trap I've ever seen. <laughs> that's a funny thing. And when I say it, it's a come out of different. <laughs> Pasquale, I, I once thought that maybe I would marry Rossi someday just to, to thank you for, for giving me America. But after you did this to me, I'm, I'm washed to my hands. You really hate her so much, Luigi. No, no, Pasquale. I, I just said that because I'm a mad with you, and, and you know why I'm a mad with you. Yes, because Rosa turned out to be smarter than you. No, no, I'm I'm smarter than her, but I'm 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 a can't think straight. Ha <laughs> ha! Good, my plan is working. By the time I'm through with you, you're going to be thinking like a pretzel. <laughs> is it no use, Pasquale? I'm never going to marry the bakery. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I'm just going to wait to see. In my life, I've seen lots of things that happen. Rose is liable to get a smarter even than Olsen, and you liable to marry her just for her big brain. Olsen? Hey, Pasquale, you just gave me a big idea. Huh? I'm going to go to Olsen, and he's going to teach me enough to pass the examination. Hey, Luigi, come back, my son. Uh, my son. Only way he's ever going to be my son is if I adopt him. <laughs> But also, if, if, if I'm going to pass this final as a test, then I'm not going to be in a class the next term. Is, is it going to be terrible? Yo, sure, Luigi, I, I wish I had the time to tutor you. Uh, but uh, with Olga's sick, well, I... I oh, that's, can... that's right, Olsen. you, you got to take care of her. However, if, if I might make a suggestion, Luigi... What? I, I know a real intelligent gentleman, Mr. Hutchins. And, and he tutors a few of the, the poorest students. Oh, that's a good. But, but I don't know his rates, Louis. What's the difference, Olsen? If he's a good tutor, he's worth even a dollar a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, you're not thinking, Basco. This history material is really very simple. Well, please, please excuse me, Mr. Hutchins. My, my, my head is, is just so mixed up. Uh, oh, all right, now let's try again. The first president of the United States... George Washington. Second president... John Adams. Third... Madison. No, 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 no! Jefferson, Jefferson, Jefferson! He was a president three times? No. <laughs> oh, once... Although he served two terms. If he served two terms, why you say he was a president at once? Because, well, I, 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 well, after his first four years, he was elected for another four years. Oh, he's he's needed the money, huh? <laughs> Mama mia, I'm, I'm really thinking a terrible, Mr. Hutchins. I'm, always, I know my history from my antique shop, but... but all right, but, but all right, now I'm, all right. Um, incidentally, the name is Hutchins, Hutchins. not a Huppishins. Hutchins. 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 Right, now, tell me. Hutchins. 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 
<laughs> Would you like it if I called you back so? <laughs> back so, correct? I don't care what you're calling me. Making me smile until I get a face. Right. <laughs> now, tell me. Who was president from 1933 to 1945? 1933 to 1945? Well, Doesn't I mean... F.D. stand for anything to you? Oh, sure. The fire department. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll give you a hint. All His right. name was Rosa... Rosa? Mamma mia, Rosa was the president? <laughs> yes, so you don't know anything. Please, I, I, I'm gonna know a lot. I, I'm gonna know a whole lot, but, but I, I can't concentrate. Please, you gotta help me out. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep going. All right. Roosevelt was president from 1933 to 1945. Yeah. Now, repeat that. Roosevelt was the president from 1933 to 1945. Again? Roosevelt was the president from 1933 to 1945. Who was president from 1933 to 1945? Mr. Hutchins, don't you hear so good? <laughs> Hutchins. Hutchins. <laughs> Who was president during the Civil War? Pres Abraham Lincoln, 1861 to 1865. No. Well... <laughs> well, now we're getting someplace. Well, tell me some important things Lincoln did. Oh, well, he's, he's a man that got his bug and dress, and he's, he's afraid of the slaves. And the, mm -hmm. uh, he's and a what else? Again. What else? He's, a, he's a put his a picture and the Lincoln a penny. Uh. A... <laughs> Don't guess, Basco. You'll only fail the examination. Now, if they ask you, just say Lincoln was our wartime president... He united the country and he freed the slaves. Mamma mia, I wish he was alive to free me from a Pasquale. Vasco, Vasco, you don't know anything. You will fail. I'm sure you will. No, 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 I'm, I'm not going to fail. I'm not going to... Roosevelt, 19... No, Roosevelt, 1933 to 1949. 1945. That's right, 1945. The president was Washington, Jefferson, Jefferson... No, Jefferson. no, no, no. Jefferson. Was our third president, but he served two terms. Jefferson was a president twice, but he's a server three times. Two times! <laughs> Don't blame me. I'm not in the vote in that election. <laughs> My future son-in-law, Mr. Dumbskull Luigi. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm, I'm just I had a terrible time with a tutor. He's a tutor to me by the president, but I didn't understand it. So, so he's a holler. I'm going to get scared. Then he's asking $10 for one hour. I'm a holler, and he's going to get scared. Serves you right, Luigi. Rosa could teach you anything you want to know, from Columbus up to the time the pilgrims landed their Plymouth on that rock. <laughs> I know, Pasquale, she's, she's answer all her questions right in the school. She's never make one a mistake. <laughs> like a father, like a daughter. She gets all her brains handed down from me. That's what they call a heresy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Luigi, to show you I'm willing to help you pass the test, I got a tutor for you. Yeah, who? My daughter, Rosa. No, never, never. All right, all right. Get kicked out of the class. This way, I see to it she learns you her private system, how she gets smart. A private system? Uh-huh. Well, I'm, I'm a got no choice. What am I going to do? Luigi, what else can you do? But, but I'm not going to sit closer to her. <laughs> Anywhere in the room is closer to my Rosa. My mommy. <laughs> Happy to dinner, my son. <laughs> Hey, Rosa, that's a, uh, that's a nice system you got for remembering the presidents. W-A-J-M-M-A. -A. Say them now, Luigi. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams. Oh, Luigi, you say the sweetest things to me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the next, Rosa? Geography. Now, what's the biggest river in the United States, Luigi? Use my system, remember? Yeah, biggest river. Big is a large, large is a missus, so it's a Mississippi. Oh, Luigi, you're a genius. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rosa. What's the next? Now, name the five great lakes. Sure. I take the first letter, each lake, S-H-M-O-E, put them both together, that's a spell of schmo. <laughs> <laughs> S is a superior, H is a Huron, M is a Michigan, O is an Ontario, E is a Erie. Oh, Luigi, you're a regular Einstein. <laughs> I hope I don't get a mix up and a right down the lake of Schmo. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, you're so funny. <laughs> I thank you, Rice. 
Uh, uh, what's the next? Uh, come on, ask me anything. Right no, there. what are the two chief mountains? Now use my system. Mountain system. The mountain is got lucky apples. Rocky Mountains, Appalachian Mountains. My hero! <laughs> That's a pretty good system you got to us. Uh, you, you could remember anything with your systems, huh? Luigi. Huh? I don't need any system to remember you. Oh, thank you, guys. You're so handsome <laughs> and <it's> so witty. <laughs> <laughs> So nice. Uh, I thank you, Russ. And, and you're so, so, so healthy. Oh. <laughs> Gee. Thank you, Luigi. All right, all right. Now, come on, Russ. Back it to the books. Luigi. Oh, 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 sir, pardon us a minute. Huh? Luigi, come. I got to speak with you. Okay, but what, what, what's the matter, Schultz? No, I just found out this new rotten scheme Pasquale is working on you, so I came to pull you out. What the scheme, Schultz? Well, the sneaky business of getting Rosa to tutor you. Oh. So what's the matter, Luigi? Well, Schultz, it's, uh, it's the worst than I'm ever thought it's going to be. You mean her tutoring you? No. Her sister, man. R T M A I B. T L I. R T M A I B T L I. Luigi, what is that? Rush is a tutor to me, and I'm beginning to like it. <laughs> <laughs> We all have passed the finals of test, and I'm got the rush at the tank. What's the party, Mamma Mia? I'm, I'm getting used to rush. And Pasquale says that this means I'm going to wind up with her as the husband. But I'm going to tell him, no, if you don't like the milk, but you get used to it, that don't mean you got to marry the cow. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, I'm made up of my mind, Mamma Mia. By next week, Ross has got to get out of the class. Schultz has promised to help me also, Harowitz and Olsen. And if that's no good, then maybe I'm going to try the United Nations. <laughs> You'll have a son, Luigi Basco, Lily Magrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is the easy, enjoyable way to sweeten your breath and help keep your mouth feeling fresh and clean. There's lots of lively, full-bodied, real spearmint flavor in Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum, and you can chew and enjoy a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint as long as you like, any time, any place. So do as millions of people do. Keep a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum with you all the time. Whenever you want a taste treat or you want to freshen your mouth, chew a stick. Remember, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum gives you chewing enjoyment plus refreshing, long-lasting flavor. And it costs so little, you can enjoy it often, every day. That's Wrigley's Spearmint. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at this same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Paulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olson, and Hal March as Mr. Hutton. Music is under the direction of Lud Glutkin. Is Luigi actually going to get so used to Rosa he proposes to her, or will he find a way to get her out of the class before the new term starts? Well, tune in next week and find out. This is Charles Lyon. This is the CBS Radio Network. 8.30 p.m., 